Hello, we are doing the short, short version um, of this. Uh, so I'm messing with SVG files to uh, figure out how to make, uh, how to change things with this uh, timer. Um, and uh, so for here, like I was just messing with uh, changing this uh, from the blue, that was the default. Um, I said that it's a three. You see, I have that blue, and I can just directly change uh, the color here, which I went back to that pink um, that I had. Um, there's that. I do have the ending hit that uh, still plays there, that bubbling sound. Um, okay. A quick thing to mention I will recreate the error issue that I had. I am giving it away already for uh, what happened. So uh, when I was editing this, um, I'll say this and then I'll tell you how I changed the colors because you're going to see it in the CSS here. I'm using filter instead of anything else. When I'm, when I'm targeting the image tag, I'm using filter to change the color of the SVG image that's contained within the image tag. Um, I need to look up more about how SVGs do stuff. Uh, and then it will be, maybe that will be more useful down the line. I generally use font awesome, but it's good to have um, other backups when you don't have like standard icons. Like when I worked for uh, an enterprise business, they had their own like set of icons, uh, like uh, industry standard for using different things. And it was basically uh, a, a subset of some of the font awesome packaged stuff. Um, so yeah, they, they, people like to use standard icons, but you can, you can draw pretty much anything with SVG. Um, anyway, or you can just use a PNG, OMG, or make a vector, um, which is something that I don't have it on this computer, but um, I make lots of vectors for the thumbnails for my videos for doing things. So maybe SVGs will help with uh, learning SVG art uh, will help with that to some degree. But you uh, paint an SVG with, uh, like, first of all, since these rings that I'm using here, um, it's just a it's just a single stroke. Um, you can adjust the width to make it wider or smaller. Um, it just doesn't really matter because we just want it to align up so that it overlaps and you can change the color directly on the stroke itself. And it takes in some of the keywords like white or like black or red or whatever. Um, regardless, uh, when I'm targeting, so let's actually get back to here. Um, so here's the, the error-like issue that I was having is I was, I'm hovering over a button where I want the image to change, but it's only really changing when I'm going over the image itself. And that is so annoying outside. I don't know if you can hear that. Outside, there's this dog that's yelping. And it's so annoying. I hate these auditory distractions. God, it's disgusting. And it sounds like it sounds like someone is stabbing this dog and it's crying out in pain. And this has been going on for months, or just randomly. These dogs will be like just whining like shit. And I'm like, what the hell are you doing? to your fucking pets, where they are crying in agony and just shouting like that. God, it's so disgusting. More and more distractions. I hate it. Um, so uh, I hover over the button. I want the image inside to uh, activate with a color. So here is my structure. When I hover over the button, I want to target this image. How do I do that in CSS? Um, so let's get out of here. Um, and look at my CSS. So here's how it is right now. And what's going on here to explain the syntax, target class sound picker, target the buttons within that sound picker. And if you have multiple things, it, uh, it would make sense to have buttons uh, with it, but it's the tag. This is the tag. I don't have the correct coloration thing with CSS. Maybe I'll download something later, um, to recognize tags within CSS. Um, Ordering is also important, like with language, like with grammar. Um, so I'm saying, uh, get the sound picker, get the buttons, uh, get the image tags, and when the image tags are hovered over, um, then change this to lime, lime color. Um, but I can say, when you're hovering, hover, when you're hoovering, 
over the button, target the image tag. Really simple, small change there. Now when I hover over the button, the image changes as, as expected. Um, you just have to know how to read this. Um, and it is a matter of just getting experience with it, bro, and just playing around with it. But yeah, trial and error sometimes does help out a bit. Uh, but also knowing the logic behind it of what's going on here, what's being, what commands are you issuing to CSS to do it. Um, so yeah, uh, filter, notation, whatever the hell, um, is how you change colors. That's how I got the purple, uh, and that's how I got the lime for the SVG images itself. I'm targeting them. I'm targeting them to have this, uh, this is the purple color um, by default, and then I change it to lime when I'm hovering over the button, as I explained with this tag right here. Let me add a space to make that prettier. I have, uh, this is coolers, uh, which is, this is how I get like some of the ideas and, and structure for like, I need things that kind of match more or less. It's hit or miss, but it's a, a nice way to just go through a bunch of colors that kind of match. Okay, now I like that. But let's say I want this a bit darker. I can just open up in here, and get a little more uh, hue and a little more darkness. So, uh, and it changes the name. Does it change the name? I thought it changed the name when you change the color. Does it know it? Yeah, it does. If you go uh, far enough with it. Uh, so this is just a, a tool thing that I get for uh, a, a color. And I want one of the hex codes for anything. And there's like basic ways, like even within uh, here, if I just have any color thing, I have that, I don't know, I don't remember if this is an add-on or whatever. It's a pretty simple thing, but um, I think it's, I think there are more advanced color pickers within um, that you can get for Visual Studio Code that will like replace this. But this is just, you know, you hover over it and then you can select whatever the heck you want. Uh, and it will change the uh, the hex code up there and automatically apply it, as you just saw. Uh, but I like my uh, my limeade, my pink limeade going on here for my background color, which is being applied through a gradient, um, which is how I get that fade from one color to the other. But I have one of these one of these deals going on. I have one of these uh, um, color hex code um, and. Uh, how do I get that into a filter? Because I need filters to mess with the SVG files to get these colorations happening. Uh, well, there's this. Um, there's this wonderful uh, CSS color filter generator. So yeah, check out this site if you want to find this uh, color generator. Um, I'll try and put the link in the description. I'll try and remember that. Uh, but yeah, uh, like I just looked up... Um, color filter generator and this came up as, as you might expect. A lot of figuring things out and finding the right resources depends on just knowing the right words to use for it. Um, and so if you want to mess with SVG files and change the coloration on it, then um, using a tool like this uh, would help a great deal. So let's say that I want, so I want let's get a really like gregarious yellow. Titanium yellow, I like it. So we got this guy. Uh, let's put him over here. Get filter. Copy this. And so I want this to be, uh, instead of my lime, I want this to be super yellow. Um, and so I just paste that into my CSS there. Just to give a live demo. Um, and Go to meditation app, and now I get my uh, yellow. So that's actually really good. I never thought about having, uh, if I'm gonna turn down the opacity on something, um, that I like that kind of like flash that it kind of glows and then it goes away. Um, that this is like really bright as you see with that initial flash there. I don't know how to like delay that. I, I'm thinking too much about it with like the transition and all that. Um, <clears throat> I think if I matched, actually because I am autistic and I cannot help myself, where's the transition? So it's, uh, transition is 0.5 seconds, all ease. There's no transition on the image, which is why it has that. Um, at least I believe that's why. What? 
That's dope. Uh, I'm gonna leave it like that. But I'm gonna change back my color. Uh, so I was just showing how like the color uh, could change here. Uh, jump, destroy on comments. Be good, jump back. That's not nearly as cool. Um, why was it doing it for that, but not for this? It's because the brightness? Because brightness and saturate? Okay, okay, I see what's happening there. Um, so what, what happens if we just get rid of saturate? Then we have the brightness that immediately jumps over. The whole the whole point of this demonstration was to um, manipulate SVG images uh, through the filter and brightness and all of that. Um, using a tool is fine. You don't have to worry about like memorizing how the hell th to make this happen off the top of your head. You can if you if you're really passionate about it and you want it. I'm not interested in that shit. I got a tool that can do that. Um, I don't care for memorizing filters. And this is a really odd. Okay, regardless, uh, that, that was just wrapping up the loose ends uh, with that. Um, yeah, SVGs, uh, you target the image tag that the SVG is held in. So like this one is an image tag that the SVG is held in for the, uh, that wasn't time selector I had even. Yeah, I had sound picker. So these were the image tags that I was targeting. So uh, to manipulate those SVGs, that's how I did it, is um, targeting their image tags and then putting a filter on um, that image element. Um, and that would change from being a white background. Or if I just took it out and I go back, um, then I'll show you it should, well, it should do nothing then uh, because it uh, has a an opacity of zero, so what's on top of it will show through. But if I take that out as well, if I take that color out, then it's just white through and through. So if I do that, and I put you on here, then it should be white until I hover over it. Yep. Um, you know... You know, instead of being gregarious, uh, I actually like the simplicity of uh, the white background. And it goes well. White just goes well with pastels. That's actually better than the purple, uh, in my opinion. So I'm actually going to leave it uh, like that. So I uh, made progress on understanding a little bit more of color coordination design as well. I do like that. It looks very clean. That's everything for this point in time. Thank you for watching.